Lagos is Africa's mega city, home to 24 million people. It's very close to the water. And that's also one of the big challenges. So Lagos has traditionally been, you know, suffering from floods, either from rainfall floods, but also storm surges. And what we are now seeing is a change in, you know, the severity and frequency of these events. So Lagos is already starting to feel the impact of climate change. These are significant changes, which actually means that some of these areas have to be transformed into what's called floating cities. And that's now being seen as, as a potential solution for some other neighborhoods. Jakarta is located in a lowland delta area. And I mean, I think 50% of that area is below regional water levels. And in some parts of the city, close to 90% of the city is already below currency level. Through Jakarta, you also see a lot of rivers and canals that flow through the city. But projections show that they're actually gonna be stop, stopped from, from flowing freely to the sea and will actually clock up and then cause a lot of flooding also to areas that currently are not exposed. I think with, with Jakarta, we've seen now actually the decision by the government to really get serious about relocating the capital away to, to another part of the country. And, you know, that just shows you how dramatic it is. Mumbai is also exposed to sea level rise as well as to, you know, significant extreme rainfall. And I don't know, anybody who's been there knows that this city actually is quite used to deal with, with monsoon floods. What is happening now is that more and more areas that were previously you know, safe from seawater are seeing regular floods through storm surges. And, you know, that's a pattern we're expecting to see 25% increase in flash flood intensity um, by 2050. The flood problems can be visible, but also invisible. So you can either be directly affected, you know, because your house or your place of work or your transport link is underwater and can't function. Or it can be indirectly because the infrastructure system just can't cope. And that's probably the, the even bigger threat here. What gives me um, some confidence is I sense there's now a better understanding of you know, dealing with climate change is, a, is an investment and not a cost. And when we talk about all these um, economic stimulus packages that are being promised, um, you know, there is a notion that that needs to be green and clean and also helping, you know, increase resilience. And, you know, I really hope that that is not just lip service and a nice commitment to put somewhere and nobody then follows it through. Mm -hmm.